Hi, this is Jim from Teachers Love Smart Boards. I wanted to give a demonstration of um, using Google Earth, which is one of the all-time great applications you can use with your smart board. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate how to find some landmarks that uh, you may want to do a tour, or, uh, have, uh, have your students create uh, a customized tour. Um, I'm going to do a tour on uh, populated bat caves or bat locations in the United States and Mexico. So I'm going to search, uh, I've already done some research, I'm going to find three locations um, and I want to display them inside Google Earth. Now what I like to do, you can open up Google Earth and Google Earth has some, you can uh, you know, search within the program and find some great landmarks already in. However, what I like to do is I like to go out to the internet and go to Google, makes sense, and search for a customized um, Google Earth file. And let me show you what I mean. If you can find them, I'm not saying you can find them all the time, but if you can find them, a lot of times what the, the creators of these files do is they add additional information for that landmark. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to first search for um, the uh, Bracken Cave, which is in Texas. Uh, let me bring this here, and I'm going to go ahead and search on Google Earth Bracken Cave. Let me see if I can just bring that up so you can you see what I've done here. Okay, uh, that whoa, that's a little that's a little much. That's what I searched on. If you can see that, all right. Let me come back out, click on the search, and this is our result. So we have a pretty good result. Uh, Bracken Cavern Google Earth hacks looks pretty good. All right, so I'm going to choose that one. And what's neat is I have found a website that has some information on Bracken Cavern. And let me show you what they have right here. Um, on this they have, I can get a file. One is for Google Earth. That's pretty neat. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And here I am right now in my uh, um, Firefox open files. I'm going to open it with Google Earth right here. I'm not going to save it right now. I'm just going to open it right away. I'll show you why you want to do that. Click OK. And it's going to download the file. It's automatically going to start Google Earth, and it's going to take us directly to the location. And we're going to fly in, downloads, Bracken Cave, KMZ. KMZ is a file extension for Google Earth file, location file. And there we are. Notice it's got the label, it's got the placeholder that little yellow icon right there and let me show you what I mean about being able to download, download these from the internet what people often do I'm going to um, click on the placeholder icon and I have uh, some information on Bracken Cave if you can see that world is the largest known habitat for Mexican free tailed bats in the world All right, very cool so that's a nice little uh, piece of information attached to this that I didn't have to write. If you want to edit it, let me show you that very quickly. Here's the icon. I right click on it. I go down to my properties and what's going to happen is a window is going to pop up and let me take you to that right there and it's just going to allow you to change the description or various aspects of uh, this icon. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Close that out. Let's go to our next location. I'm going to minimize that Close that up. I'm going to go back up and do another search. In this case, I'm going to search on Google Earth space Congress Bridge Bats. Let me show you what that looks like. Hopefully, you can see it right there. Google Earth Congress Bridge Bats. Okay. All right. And I'm going to click Enter. And I get a, my very first link right here. Looks like a good. Uh, um, place where I may find a file. You may have to do some searching around. It's not always guaranteed you're going to find a Google Earth file either, but I tell you when I do find them, they're usually right at the top of my Google search. All right, so that's the one I want. I'm going to click on it, and I get a neat little web page uh, from the Earth Explorer website, which uh, you might want to take a look at, but it talks about the Congress Avenue Bridge, and it talks about information, and if I look right down here, let me bring you into that, right there, if you can see, Notice I can open this with Google Earth. Very good. So I'm going to click on that, and it's going to go ahead right away and uh, open up that file. Notice that um, notice that it's a KML file. That's what we want. It automatically knows to open it up with Google Earth. Pretty cool. And click 
OK. It's going to do the same thing as before, download the file, and take us right from our last location. It's going to fly over to a different location in Texas to the Congress Avenue Bridge. And they also have a, a, a placeholder icon, a nice one, that I can click on and see if I get any information uh, for Congress Avenue, Avenue Bridge. I do. Pretty neat. So that I didn't have to type in, and it was already created for me by somebody else. I just uh, went ahead and found it on the Internet. Um, here's what I can do, too. Don't forget, you can right-click on that, click on Properties, and if I want, I can go ahead and edit the information right in there. Pretty cool. All right, so I'm not going to change the information. I'm going to quickly show you um, my last location, Google Earth, and type in La Boca Cave. I was surprised to actually find this one, but uh, I did. It's one of my first few links. Let me show you right there, Google Earth Community, Viewing from Nature and Geography. That looked like a good uh, uh, possibility, so I clicked on it. It happened to be in Spanish, the nerve of them, the nerve of them. Uh, but anyhow, I know a little Spanish, so I was able to figure out that uh, uh, this is probably where I wanted to go on that link. So I click on it, and it takes me to a neat little uh, Google Earth Community website. Talks about uh, the Boca Cave or the Bat Cave. Na 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 na. Bat Cave has some pictures, but once again, up here, notice what it has. I can view it right inside Google Earth by clicking right there. So I'm going to do that. And open, you know this. Download it and take us from Congress Avenue Bridge, go past Bracken Cave, cruise down to Monterey, Mexico, and there we are on the side of a mountain. We have the La Boca Cave. Alright, that's it for right now. It's pretty cool. Don't forget, you can you can modify different perspectives here. The neat thing about this, um, now in your temporary places, I have uh, three locations. I can take these, edit them, I can save them, I can create a, a fun little um, Google Earth tour. Um, and this didn't take me very long at all. Uh, so it's uh, Google Earth. Remember, wonderful, wonderful application for your smart board. Uh, use it and abuse it. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you.